Yeah, this your boy Rich underscore everything with an A, and you now locked in to Ari Films. Mr. Uncut, raw. All right, so we officially got two motor off the four wheel. We got time. We can we can leave it fully assembled. Take the carburetor off if we want to. Um, tape it off or we could take it off i think i'm gonna take it off because i want to get down and then clean some of this grunge up um, i ain't gonna lie took the you got you still got the spring mm -hmm. so we took the spring and all our stuff out all that stuff was like pretty clean but i still want to clean it out like even in the bowl i don't know if y'all can see that that's that's clean down in there but and another thing i think i'm gonna still take it off man um little vacuum holes right here on the side we still got the brake cable and all hooked up uh this right here comes from the stator i guess that's what you call it uh that shit, well, we're going to heat shrink these wires right here back over. Make sure all this right here right, to be honest with you. Because I'm looking, up and I just want to make sure, like, see what white is with white right there. And then I want to make sure all these right here go where they supposed to go. This tape definitely got to come off here, so we go get that off there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's look through this stuff and see if we got the piece to actually hook up to that. My bad. And this this wire right here for your uh for the starter. We know the starter work. Got the starter right here. And this wire right here is still good for the starter, so I might just go ahead and uh I'ma fix a little piece up to go on there so we can just plug that in instead of taking all that right there off the starter and all that. But that carb definitely gonna come off. Um I really don't want to take this cylinder head off, but I don't know how that look inside right there. I definitely have to get like a flashlight or something to let y'all see. It look grungy from the outside. You can see it right there. It's grungy from the outside. A spark plug was in it, so I don't know if moisture got in it or not. It wasn't seized up in there, no nothing. I mean, it screw out good. And uh, let's see, can we get it to screw back in good? Yeah, and it screws back in good, so thread is good on that. We'll still clean all that up, man. Like I say, I'm gonna pressure wash the whole thing. Um, you see it right there, we got a brand new spot plug, so <clears throat> we're gonna be putting that on that and then to clean the tank and all that i'm gonna take the uh flap disc i'm gonna sand that tank all the way down man get that clean for him. clean this cover up which got bent just a little bit you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna plastic weld well that for him right there plastic weld well that real nice for him scuff it up and then he can paint it whatever color he want to paint it but, that goes on here, like that, which I can't get the, uh, can't get it to set on there right, but it goes on there like that, right there. So, you know, just to keep your hand out of the chain guard and all that. And I, I think a whole nother piece is supposed to go like right here behind this, but when we got it, it wasn't another piece on there. So we just gonna put it back Best way, best way we know how. Now, what I might end up doing is I might take me a piece of metal or some plexiglass or something, and or just plastic and just well plastic well a piece right here, so where it just guards all that, so nothing falls in there. You know what I'm saying? And just build it back up for them. Um, chain guard. I mean, muffler guard right here. We'll take all that stuff off, clean all that up. It's right here where the muffler was at. Took got his phone on the charger, so 
But yeah, we we ain't wanna misplace nothing. We're gonna drop that that back down and now y'all see it. That's the uh original jet that goes in now. Got stuck on my finger. This the spring. That whole bowl, like I say, that setup right there look good. Let me see if I can put that back on now so we don't misplace that spring. We definitely don't need to misplace that. That got to go back in line. So We keep everything with everything. Uh, now, while two holding the camera, I'm going to um, look through some of these wires right here and I'm going to see exactly what we have going over here right, this is coming from the side of the motor this means that and i know this if this is coming from the side of the motor and this has a plug on it then obviously we should have a plug someplace on here for that but um i ain't gonna tell y'all no lie i really ain't seen it i know this a ground I could check and see what everything else is as far as being a hard or whatever the case, but I'm gonna do my research so I can get them straight on that right there. Everything else he got. So we're gonna see what's what. Now, this may be the case right here. This may be the case. So y'all can see it. This right here may be the case. Because you have wires right here, and these wires here are extra wires, and then you got extra wires right here. So remember, I was saying something about the black, I mean the white, white wire right there. Remember, I was saying something about the rest of the wires. So now, with these wires right here, this right here may be the case right here. So where we have to figure out, you know, what wire goes to what on this end right here to make this, you know what I'm saying, run into that. So I'm glad I didn't throw this away because I was just telling two that I was mad. Man, I'm about to throw that away. But I'm glad I didn't throw that away. You know, better to keep all that. Um, here you go right here to your battery right there. Right here to your battery. I'm trying to straighten up these wires while I'm going along, as you can see. It's all tangled up in every which way. Every type of way. Yeah. Okay. So we just about got this thing. There you go. All right, to your battery. This right here go up to your controls to start. So your battery is on. Your battery, you're gonna be on the back side, on this side over here. I already know that. All this wiring right here with the fuses and all this, this is, this stuff is located on the driver's side. Right there, so that means that these wires here are gonna have to come up. Um, I'm under the impression that this wire is grounded to the frame and this wire here is supposed to be the hot to start this right here up because there's no other wires that was on there and if you can see you can look right here on this same thing you know with this coming from the coil pack though so this might be grounded to this and then this will have to go down to, it'll go down to something. We're going to figure it all out. We got everything still left on there. But so far, so good. We, we, we know where everything go. You can see yellow and black or just black and green, my bad. Black and green right there. So here you go. Let's go ahead. We, we got it all figured out right now. Black and green. So this is what we're going to do. That that means that this black and green is going to go to this black and green. Right here. 
which I don't like these little cramps right here, but there it go. That's where your spark come in at for your engine. You can see it color coded together. So now this right here will go to your spark plug. This gets mounted to the frame. And on the other one, it had a little tab on it. Um, a little tab on the end. They go your little tab right there. This one, they got this one soldered in. Instead of you having to run an extra wire off, they got it soldered in. So that's to that. Um, that's already hooked up how it needs to be hooked up. That's hooked up how it needs to be hooked up. This, my friend, ignition, uh, handlebar, handlebar. I'm thinking this right here is the, gotta be like a kill switch or something right here. Um, I know it's gonna plug into something that's already on there. I know that for a fact, or either the brakes, cause it does have brakes. And this wire right here, being that it's coming from this box here, nine times out of 10, like I say, this is gonna be the starter wire. They got a red one on there, but this green one right here is gonna be the starter wire. So that's pretty much it. And then this right here is where I gotta come in and do my magic right there on this part to make sure everything goes back into this to plug into that. But First thing I'm gonna do for my boy, man, I'm gonna clean these. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna teach him how to do it. I'm gonna clean, teach him how to clean these wires right here up. Um, and then we gonna uh, solder them back in. Once we solder them back in, we gonna heat shrink it, and we'll be good to go. But we do know the starter works. We do know we got compression. So all those right there are some good signs, man. Um, so far, so good. And I could basically turn it and see it to a certain. See me turn it in. Watch it push back. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, man. That's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it on the cleanup, man. So. Um, as of right now, man, I don't think we really gonna touch nothing. I'm just glad we got it all. I think the first thing first, man, we just gonna get us some degreaser and just go ahead and clean this thing here down. That way we working with, we'll be already working with a good, a good foundation and everything. Um, now these wires right here, I might go ahead and get these right here soldered up off camera tonight. Um, when, like I say, too, I'm gonna teach him how you do that. And get this carburetor off there. I could put some tape or something inside of this hole right here. I just want to double check the bowls. Make sure the bowls and everything clean on there. The jets and everything clean on there. No water in the bottom. All that. Then I'll be straight on that. Um, the back end back here. Where your oil go. Um, two had that open earlier. Uh, I think oil was in this thing at one point. Because I remember tilting it sideways and oil came pouring out so that's a thing on that now this here may be a thing to wear with this this right here is nine time out of ten what is going to probably like a vacuum that probably run right down more than likely so, and you got your fuel feeding down. That's going to be off of the gas tank and everything. So, yeah, man, we done had y'all here. We done stripped this thing right here down. We done did a little run over with y'all. So, now what we about to do, man, off camera is we just going gonna to look up our number, see what kind of motor we got for sure. I'm pretty sure it's probably no more than like a 50 or a 40 cc engine, but never underestimate them. Never underestimate them, you know. Uh, you get to underestimating them. And they still, they got power. So it is what it is, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy, Rich, underscore everything with an A and that boy behind the camera. Right here.
because it's his project, j.t.verified. We all in the game room, hidden from his mama, so she don't see that he got a motor in his bedroom. And she come in and be like, what, what in the world? So I'm going to blame it on two. Y'all could best believe that. But yeah, man. Nah, man. We just, we having a little bit of family fun, man. And like I say, he had a deadline. I wasn't going to let him give up on that deadline, even though he had practice and all the other stuff today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lend a hand. If we get it running, we get it running. And I ain't even going to say if we don't, we don't, because we already know we got compression. Even if we get this thing to flutter a little bit, I'm good. Because, I mean, if we don't get it running ourselves, Y'all know I don't really believe in going to the shop, but just to have a little bit of fun, man, I buy a new motor first, to be real with you. So, <clears throat> and if I don't do that, then I got friends that, um, I got a little homie up the street, man. He about two days, and he actually work on dirt bikes, so I know he'll, like, take this engine and run through it in no time. I'll be glad to, you know what I'm saying, to have somebody at a youth, you know what I'm saying? I could take two up there, we could YouTube that, and he can actually... You know, they can get together and they can do their thing or whatnot. So, man, y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, that bell for post notifications, man. J.T.Verify and Rich underscore everything with an A. You already know. We building it. Yeah, this your boy Rich underscore everything with an A. And you now locked in to Ari Films. Mr. Uncut. Raw.